Hey everyone, Five Farley here, July 19th, Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Daily best bet coming to you on the road. I uh, appreciate you tuning in. I got a best bet coming to you. Great day today. Uh, I'm excited. We can uh, make some money today and uh, in quite well fashion. Yesterday, I uh, ended up with a win in uh, San Francisco, coming probably, oh, at about 1.30 in the morning, Eastern time. So congrats if you stayed up for that. 6.45 was first pitch. Pacific time, and uh, I ditched it in the 14th inning. Um, one thing that was funny is as that game was going on, I'm like, San Francisco needs the Mets to score for some reason to have any sense of urgency. They just kept missing opportunities, um, and boy, they were lucky to keep in that. I remember one inning, uh, bases loaded. They had a guy on, I think, second and third, no outs. And Davis was able to pitch his way out of it, striking out uh, the side. So happy to get a win there. Uh, it's about time it goes back the other way. Had another ninth inning uh, game uh, with a run scored in the ninth to lose a run line play. So uh, uh, getting a little irritated at these run line plays losing in the ninth inning. Uh, still winning the game, but uh, making it a one-run ball game. I mean, it's the name of the game, but uh, anyway... Uh, still looking to make a profit here uh, and keep on winning. Um, so winning the Daily Best Bet yesterday, I want to say I'm going offhand. I got the records on it. I'm not pulling it up, but I think it's 11 of the last 14. 11 of the last 14 Daily Best Bets have won. Um, so things have been going really well. Looking to keep that up. We got a good play today. Um, there's a couple plays also. You can find them on patreon.com slash fivefarley. Check that out, patreon.com slash fivefarley. And uh, again, you can also follow me on Twitter, but uh, the other picks are going to be over there on Patreon. All right, so going to, this might be a surprise, we're going to Seattle in this one. Um, now, I will say, uh, uh, having uh, been raised in Seattle, and I am a Mariners fan, um, it's, it's I double-check what I'm doing when I pick a Seattle game um, because I don't want to have any kind of heart or uh, personal ties in there. That said, uh, you can't eliminate a team uh, just because of any kind of personal biases. You got to really just cap without emotion. So, and I go for it and I go against them. Um, my last play was actually against them, which was a winner. Um, it, matter of fact, it was for the Angels. Uh, but here in this spot, we got Mike Leak at home and we got uh, Jimmy Barrier going, uh, Barria going uh, for the Angels. Now, Barria, if you look at his stats on the road, are absolutely awful. Now, he hasn't had a lot of experience this year. Again, he's only 23 years old. I remember capping last year when he was 21, 22 years old. Um, he's really struggled this year so far in uh, uh, three total outings, two starts. He's one and two on the road. He's got a 10.03 ERA. Two of those three outings, he's been absolutely pounded. 377 total batting average on the road. Um, so, so far, not so good for Barria. Uh, meanwhile, the homie's done fair. Uh, Mike Leak, on the other hand, the opposite. So, on the road, he's really struggled. Two and six overall, 293 batting average to his opponents, but at home, a lot better. And there's one key stat here that you're going to know, you're, you'll see here, that's really important against the Angels. I'm going to get to that in one second, but at home, 342 ERA, much more respectable. He's five and two, not bad. Um, Opponent batting average, 271. Leak will spread hits out throughout a game. Nothing wrong with that. What's most important here, though, that in eight starts and 52 innings, he's given up only four home runs at home. On the road in 11 starts, 20 home runs. Two home runs a ball game when he's on the road. Meanwhile, at home, only four home runs. That's one every other start um, at home. Much, much better. So meanwhile, so let's also look at the dynamic with the Angels because a lot of these batting averages are inflated because of uh, his pitching on the road. So <clears throat> I'm not too afraid of this, but 368 Angel batting average against him. However, a lot of those hits coming um, down in Anaheim, being a divisional opponent, they play each other all the time, and uh, a lot of these hits are coming um, which he does not have tremendous success against the Angels down in Anaheim. Meanwhile, at home, he's done great. Um, you know, Mike Trout, for example, does have three home runs again against him and a huge 538 batting average. However, um, not quite as good when it's up in Seattle. I'll see if I can pull that number up. But uh, 
Um, it's key that, you know, only four home runs this entire season in Seattle. Uh, Trout is a Mariner killer. Um, however, I don't know if I can pull up what he did in Seattle. I probably probably won't be able to pull it up by the time this video is up. So anyway, um, I'm going to continue moving on. As I'm still looking at these numbers. Um, I'm going to continue moving on uh, with the Seattle play here at home. Also, just got swept in Los Angeles. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, motivation here here for the Mariners to uh, save some face against a divisional opponent to get a win back at home, um, you know, with Leak on the mound. So I'm going to go with Seattle Mariners. They're at a plus 110 underdog at home against Los Angeles Angels. Good luck, everyone, today. We'll see you again soon.